Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm not so much cooking as I am putting together a charcuterie and cheese board. And because they always look so beautiful, I thought this is a perfect excuse to shoot a video and share it with you, maybe inspire you for those days when you don't feel like cooking, but you still want something great to eat. So hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. To be honest, I didn't even know what a charcuterie board was a few years ago. It was my daughter who got me into them. Charcuterie just means cooked meats served cold, uh, but recently we've come to know them just as a board filled with all kinds of fantastic foods, your meats, your cheeses, nuts, fruits, uh, all together and you just nosh on it. Uh, they can be very simple or they can become very elaborate and fancy, not to mention expensive. But today I'm making something a little more on the simple side, so I'll show you everything that I have. I'll start with the meats and I've got some Italian dry salami that I get at Costco and this lasts us a really long time. In fact, it comes in packages of two, so I'll put one of them in the freezer and the other one keep in the fridge. This is one of our favorite things to snack on. I also have some prosciutto and mozzarella that I found at the grocery store. It was on sale, another good deal. But for meats, this is all I've got. All right, then we'll move on to the breads and I've got a uh, French baguette and I've also got just a box of crackers and this one I already had in the pantry. It's store brand, nothing fancy, but it's always nice to have a choice between crackers or bread. Then I've got some uh, olives. These are from Costco as well. A really good deal. Another one of our favorite things to buy. It comes in a package of two jars, uh, but I also have some olives here in a little mix, uh, different kinds from the deli. For cheese, this is where I splurged a little. And by splurge, I don't mean that I spent a lot of money. These are just cheeses that I wouldn't normally have in my refrigerator. I bought a brie, which is a soft cheese. And then for the hard cheese, I found this one that caught my eye because it has hatch green chili in it. So we'll see how that turns out. And I also already had Colby Jack in my refrigerator. Of course, this is just an everyday cheese, but that's okay. We love it and it doesn't have to be fancy. That's the beauty of a charcuterie board. For fruits, I've got some grapes, I've got some leftover cantaloupe, and I bought a package of strawberries. Then I've got some cashews and some almonds. These are actually from the dollar store, but it's always nice to work in some nuts. And finally, I splurged on a really good bar of dark chocolate. I may find a few other ingredients in my pantry or refrigerator as I go along, but for now, this is what I'm starting with. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of cutting boards and just have some fun. There's no right or wrong way to put together a charcuterie and cheese board. You kind of have to move things around and play with it a little bit just to make sure that things fit and that it looks pretty. Placing foods with contrasting colors next to each other seems to display the food best. So I'd say the most important thing is having a good variety. At least a couple of meats, two or three kinds of cheese, fruit, nuts, and your bread and crackers and you just make them easy to grab and enjoy. It's that simple. I had this orange marmalade in the fridge, so this should be good. I'm gonna try to drizzle a little on top of the brie. There you have it, a couple of charcuterie and cheese boards that are not only a feast with all this goodness, they're a feast for the eye, so beautiful to look at. I would say, uh, do this for your family. Make it a fun nosh night. Don't wait till you're entertaining or hosting a party because it's 2020 and we don't know when that's gonna be. So you might as well enjoy it now. I know I can't wait to dig in. Thanks so much for checking out my video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. I'd also love to see pictures if you put together your own charcuterie board, so feel free to tag me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. 
Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. Thank you.